Today, Fox News settled its defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting. Dominion Voting had claimed that Fox News falsely published that it had rigged the election in 2020. This is an interesting case because it deals with the law of defamation. And law of defamation, most people think, mainly incorrectly, that public figures are immune from defamatory action cases. Now, I've had to bring a lot of defamation cases in the last few years because yours truly and my clients are defamed on a regular basis, particularly conservatives and others who stand up against the establishment and who stand up against norms that are developed by people who do not believe in the vision and creation of our founding fathers. But what is interesting about the Fox News case is that Fox internally, apparently through its producers and also with regard to its hosts, was saying that President Trump lost the election fair and square. And yet at the same time, we're putting people on that said the opposite. Now, I believe that President Trump did win the election, frankly, quite apart from Dominion or any issue in that regard. But it tells you something about not just the law of defamation, because Fox felt that it was going to lose the case. It wound up paying reportedly about $800 million, almost a billion dollars to settle this. Called into court was going to be Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, Tucker Carlson, and even the chairman of Fox News and News Corp itself, Rupert Murdoch. They obviously were scared. It would have exposed a dirty truth that Fox speaks out of both sides of its mouth, that it'll say one thing on the air, but believe something else under the surface. It's not consistent. Now, it is good that there is a Fox News. There needs to be more competition, in fact, because it does buck up against the lies and deceit of the leftist media, MSNBC and CNN, which is a communist news network. But what I've been saying for years about Fox News has been proven to be true, is that they are not sincere frequently. They're not honest. They fudge the facts to boost ratings. And this is true of all the networks. And the judge allowed this case to go to trial. And it was on the eve of trial. They were literally walking out the court, up the courthouse steps with a jury that had already been chosen. And Fox threw in the towel for almost a billion dollars. So here's the moral to the story. So you can win cases against public figures, particularly when it's not just false facts, but mixed, mixed opinion and fact, as was the case here, uh, claiming that uh, Dominion had done certain things. Uh, Fox was claiming, well, this was just opinion. The judge said no, it was mixed fact and opinion. But it also tells you something about the media. You can't trust the media from any quarter, whether it's leftist media, or whether it's so-called conservative media. They're in it to profit, they're in it to make money, and they don't care about who they harm. So I want you to go to my website at larryplayman.com and also that's my law firm and at freedomwatchusa.org. Take a look at these defamation lawsuits. Because in addition to the federal judges who have been so corrupted and don't stand in the stead of the American people, the media itself is the biggest threat to the American people in the continuation of this country. It is dishonest. Only 6% of the American people, according to polls, believe the government is probably even smaller when it comes to the media. And it's time that we hold the media accountable. At Freedom Watch, we have a leftist media task force. We bring cases, defamation cases. Go and see what we do, contribute to our cause. We need to hold the media accountable. Go to freedomwatchusa.org. Until then, we'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. Remember, the father and son will only help us if we help ourselves. Thank you for listening to me.